He twitches again in his sleep, doesn't he? But it's not just a dream about chasing squirrels. In the next 30 seconds, you'll learn three real signs. Your dog might actually be dreaming of you. And one quick test to prove it. If he turns away from you and faces the door while sleeping, that's not distance. That's his guarding instinct kicking in. If he presses his body into your back or chest, he's sinking heartbeats, a built-in way to calm his nervous system. But if he breathes fast and won't stop shadowing your every move, even during the day, that's separation anxiety. And it can get worse if we don't notice the signs. So here's a test. Next time you stand up, watch him. Does he stay still, shift into your spot, or follow you out? That moment reveals the kind of dream pattern he's locked into. Now, let's break down what those dreams really mean and what science says is going on inside his brain when his eyes flutter in the dark. So if dogs do dream and those dreams mirror what they feel, the real question is how close are those dreams to ours? You've seen it. His paws start to twitch, his eyes dart behind shut lids, and his breathing shifts faster, shallower, almost like he's chasing something in the dark. It feels human, doesn't it? Like a memory on fast forward. That's not your imagination. Dogs enter REM sleep rapid eye movement just like we do. It's the deepest layer of sleep, and it's where dreaming lives. Brain scans show that a dog's mind during REM lights up almost identically to ours. Patterns flicker across the screen in waves, same rhythm, same pulses, as if the brain is pulling files from storage and re-watching them like old home movies. Think about that. The old boy by your feet may not just be resting. He might be reliving. And not just sights or sounds, but feelings. That walk in the snow when you slipped and he circled back. The night you left the radio on, because the thunder scared him. Riem is where the body sleeps, but the mind remembers. It's a sacred space, one where science has only recently caught up to what dog owners have always known in their gut. Still many wonder, are these just random sparks, leftover noise from the day? Or could these flashes be something more, something organized, meaningful, emotional? That's where it gets even more fascinating, because scientists didn't stop at brainwaves. They looked at what dogs might actually see in their dreams and who they're seeing. So let's take this further. If dogs dream like us, then what fills those dreams? Is it play? Is it fear? Or is it you? Number two, what dogs dream about dreams are never just noise. Not for us and not for them. For dogs, a dream isn't some random theater of nonsense. It's a private screening of the life they've lived stitched together in flashes of scent, sound, and emotion. When your dog sleeps, he doesn't slip into silence. He slips into story. Scientists have studied this through observation and neurological mapping. In research with rats, creatures far simpler than dogs, their brains replayed mazes they had run earlier in the day, step by step, corner by corner. And if a rat replays a maze, what do you think your dog is replaying? That morning walk where the neighbor's gate creaked open just a little too loud. That moment you laughed and tossed him your sock like a gift. That long car ride when he kept his eyes on the road, just like you did. His dreams are not built on fantasy. They're built on memory, and the memories most drenched in emotion get the front row. Some of those dreams are light, chasing, sniffing, rolling in something forbidden. But some are heavy, like the day you packed a bag and left for two nights, or the time you held him tight at the vet's office, your hand too still, your voice too calm. Dogs store those moments, not just in their mind, but in their bodies. And those moments can come back when the lights go out. But there's a question that lingers. Is he just re-watching events? Or is he reaching for something deeper? 
Because in these dreams, there's often a figure, a presence that comes again and again. And more often than not, that presence isn't another dog, or a bone, or a park. It's you. So what does it mean when your dog dreams of you? Number three, they might be dreaming of you. Imagine this, your dog is fast asleep, curled in that same spot. He always claims the corner of the couch that still holds your scent. His nose twitches, his ears flick. A low sound hums from his throat, almost like a name he can't say out loud. And maybe, just maybe, that name is yours. According to sleep researchers from Harvard, it's not just possible, it's likely. They believe dogs like humans often dream of the beings they're most emotionally attached to. Not toys, not squirrels, not even steak. But you, your voice, your footsteps, the way your hand rests on his head heavy with familiarity. Dogs are scent-driven creatures, and scent is memory. In their dreams, your smell becomes a place they return to, a safe house, a signal, a home. And this isn't just theory. I once met an old veteran, retired and alone, whose Labrador Duke used to whimper every night in his sleep. The man told me, I swear, sometimes it sounds like he's talking to me. Then one night, Duke lifted his head, mid-dream, turned toward the chair his owner always sat in, and exhaled like someone had just come home. That wasn't reflex. That was recognition. If your dog dreams of you, it means you've carved a space in his inner world, one that doesn't fade when his eyes close. A place you don't have to earn again every day. You're already there, waiting. But that leads us to an even more mysterious question. How is the brain doing this? What part of your dog remembers so vividly, so emotionally, that even in unconsciousness, it replays the moments you thought were small? Let's look deeper, not just into the dreams themselves, but into the engine behind them. Number four, the brain science. Behind it, behind every twitch, every soft growl in the night, is a brain quietly sparking with memory. And in dogs, just like in humans, the real magic of dreaming happens in a hidden ancient part of the mind, the hippocampus. That's the region where experiences are sorted and filed, where emotion clings to memory like scent to fur. During REM sleep, this little structure lights up like a lantern in the dark. And beside it, the amygdala, the brain's emotional compass steering the tone of each dream, joy, fear, longing, even grief. When scientists scanned the brains of sleeping dogs, they weren't expecting what they found. The neural activity didn't just suggest movement, it suggested meaning. These weren't scattered sparks. They were sequences, patterns, stories. The same kind of neural flow that shows up when we dream of loved ones, of places we ache for, or people we've lost. It was as if the brain was saying, this isn't just noise, this is something your heart remembers. Veterinary neurologists have even seen cases where dogs with anxiety, especially rescue dogs or those with traumatic pasts, would jerk violently or cry in their sleep. The brain was still carrying the past, still searching for safety in the dark. That's not so different from us, is it? The brain doesn't need words to replay love or fear. It just needs space. And if these regions are as active as they seem, if your dog's brain truly mirrors yours, then maybe he doesn't just feel emotions. Maybe he dreams in them. Maybe when he curls tighter into that blanket, he's not just seeking warmth. He's returning to a moment with you. But how far does this go? Are these dreams just memories on repeat? Or could they be something else? A process of learning, of growth, even while asleep. Number five, dreams reflect. Real life, dreams are not escape routes, they're echoes. And for your dog, every whimper, every twitch in the night might be his way of pressing replay on the moments that meant the most. Not just once, 
but again and again like footprints reappearing in freshly fallen snow. At MIT, researchers placed rats in mazes and monitored their brain activity during sleep. What they found was astonishing. The rats' brains fired in the exact same patterns while sleeping as they had while running the maze earlier that day, as if the mind was retracing every turn, every pause, every near miss. The brain wasn't just dreaming. It was remembering. And if rats do it, dogs most certainly do too with richer memories, stronger bonds, and more emotion behind each scene. So what does that mean for your dog? It means when he sleeps, he's likely walking the same trails you did that morning, re-smelling the tree where he paused, re-hearing your voice when you called him back, gentle but firm. He may even be reliving how it felt when you reached down, scratched behind his ear, and said, good boy. And here's the beautiful twist. It's not just memory. It's processing. Dogs like us use dreams to make sense of their days. They're filing away the joy and the noise, the calm and the chaos. They're deciding what to hold on to and what to let go. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. These dream cycles don't play the same for every dog. Their size, their age, even the life they've lived, all shape the way they dream. Let's take a closer look at why no two dogs dream quite the same, and what your dog's dream patterns might be saying about him. Number six, do size and age affect? Dreaming, not all dreams are created equal, and neither are the dreamers. Just as no two dogs bark the same or wag their tails with the same rhythm, their dreamscapes carry different shapes, sizes, and frequencies. And science tells us that your dog's breed, body, and age don't just shape how he moves through life, they shape how he moves through sleep. Smaller dogs like terriers and chihuahuas tend to dream more often. Their REM cycles come in short, frequent bursts like flickering candlelight, vivid but fleeting. You might see their paws flick more often, their faces tighten into a moment of focus, then relax again. Bigger dogs like retrievers or shepherds dream less frequently, but when they do those dreams last longer, slow burning and deep like logs catching fire after hours in the coals. And then there's age. Puppies brand new to the world dream almost constantly. Their minds are sponges soaking in every moment, and sleep is when the mind rings it all out, play by play, scent by scent. Every new bark, every new corner of the yard gets filed away in dreams packed tight, like boxes in an attic. On the other end, senior dogs also dream more, not because they're learning something new, but because their brains are holding tighter to the life they've lived. It's as if the older they get, the more they return to the moments that made them who they are and who they loved. So if your old boy twitches a little longer these days, or your gray-muzzled girl sighs deeper in her sleep, maybe it's not just rest. Maybe it's remembrance. But there's more to it than just age or size. Because inside those dreams, something even more powerful may be happening a hidden process that doesn't just revisit the past, but actually builds the future. Let's explore what dreaming does to your dog's memory his learning, and maybe even his heart. Number seven, why dreaming matters. We tend to think of sleep as a pause, a place where everything shuts off like a house going dark for the night. But inside your dog's brain, sleep is anything but quiet. It's a workshop, a repair shop, a library in motion, and dreaming is one of its busiest departments. When your dog sleeps, really sleeps in that deep REM phase, his brain isn't resting. It's organizing. REM sleep is where the brain decides what to keep and what to toss. It strengthens the pathways for memories that matter the sound of your voice, the feel of the leash in his mouth, 
the way your hand brushed his back after a long day. These aren't just memories, they're anchors. Dreaming helps them stay sharp, clear, and emotionally alive. But it doesn't stop at memory. Dreaming may also help your dog learn. Just like humans can improve a skill overnight, dogs consolidate training routines, even emotional reactions while they sleep. That's why a pup who couldn't sit still yesterday might surprise you with perfect patience today. His body may have been lying still, but his mind was practicing. More than that, dreaming can help with emotional healing. Dogs that suffer from anxiety trauma or loss often show disturbed sleep, interrupted REM, crying, restlessness. But when they sleep well, they often behave better, more settled, less reactive. It's as if the dreams gave their hearts a chance to breathe to process the unspoken. So next time your dog twitches or sighs in his sleep, don't assume he's just chasing rabbits in his head. He might be rebuilding, restoring, remembering. And when that dream ends, when his eyes blink open again, there's one last thing left to say. A truth you may never hear, but one you'll always feel. Let's bring it home. So now you know. When your dog sleeps, he doesn't just drift into silence. He steps into a world built from your voice, your scent, your time together. It's not noise. It's not reflex. It's not some flicker of instincts. It's memory. And more than that, it's love running quietly in the dark. Maybe tonight, when you hear him breathing differently or see his paws twitching against the sheets, you won't rush to hush him. Maybe now you'll pause and smile knowing something sacred is happening behind those closed eyes. Maybe he's chasing a ball you threw last spring. Maybe he's reliving the moment you came home after a long hospital stay. Or maybe, and this is the part that still gives me chills, maybe he's dreaming of a version of you that even you forgot how to be. The one who showed up every day, who never missed a meal, who spoke with your hands when words were too much. Our dogs remember. They remember in ways we can't always explain. And through their dreams, they keep the parts of us that matter most, the parts we might not even realize we gave. So next time he sighs in his sleep, or paws at the air like he's reaching for something, don't wake him. Let him dream. Because maybe in that moment, he's not lost. He's home. If you've ever seen your dog dream, or wondered what he might be dreaming about, leave a comment. Tell me what you noticed, what you felt, because your stories matter. And somewhere your dog is dreaming, you'll share them. And who knows, someone else's dog might be dreaming the very same thing.